Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Question. How do I manually uninstall an application in WebSphere Application Server? Follow the steps in this video only when you have an issue uninstalling an application with the Administrative Console or WS Admin. The recommended practice is to back up the Deployment Manager configuration before you execute the steps in this video. Stop the Deployment Manager. Run the backup config command to back up the entire deployment manager configuration. Open Windows Explorer or any other command line tool and navigate to the WebSphere Application Server Profiles folder. Navigate to the Deployment Manager Configuration folder. Usually all applications are stored under profile root slash config slash cells slash cell name slash application BLA and CUS folders. This demonstration shows how to remove the corrupted app.ear file. Remove the corrupted app.ear file from the applications, BLA, and CUS folders. Navigate to the Nodes folder and edit the server index.xml file with any standard text editor. If the application is deployed on multiple nodes or on a cluster, you need to edit the server index.xml file from the other nodes as well. Search for the application that needs to be uninstalled, and then remove the entire line from the file. If the application is deployed on multiple servers on the same node, you might need to remove multiple lines from the file. Save the changes. Start the deployment manager. Log in to the Administrative Console and synchronize the changes to the node. Click Nodes under the System Administration group. Select the node of interest and run a full synchronization. Ensure that the entries are removed from the nodes by navigating to the nodes with Windows Explorer. Look under the application, BLA, and CUS folders to make sure that the application is removed from the nodes after the full synchronization. Log in to the Administrative Console and stop the node agent. You can also use the stop node command to stop the node agent.
navigate to the nodes folder and confirm that the files under the wstemp directory and the installed apps directory are removed. If the file still exists, remove them, then start the node agent. If the application is deployed on multiple nodes, it is recommended to perform the same confirmation on all of the nodes. The application has now been manually removed. The instruction in this video is only applicable to Webster Application Server and might not be applicable for applications that contain Feature Pack or Stack Products. Feature Pack or Stack Products might have extra entries in their configurations. For example, Service Component Architecture or SCA Module Application has an entry in the cell-core.xml file under the profile-root/config/cells/cellname folder. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.